Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into my channel, welcome. In this video, I'm going to really kind of share a confession with you. Uh, I don't know, maybe some of you already know, I don't know, but, um, but before I get into my confession, uh, I want to make sure you are aware of a series that Patrick Kerrigan and I have started called Astro Chats. Uh, we have several up uh, right now, and we've also done our first live stream. And um, while they are kind of geared towards people that may be in the early part of their astronomical imaging journey, uh, it's not exclusive to that because um, as our guests come on and they share uh, their experience, they share their experience from the beginning um, of their journey through their current state. So there's a lot of good information that uh, is available there and we're going to continue the Astro Chat series after the first of the year. It's kind of a busy uh, holiday period for many people and so we're not going to do any production until uh, into the new year. If you'd like to be part of an Astro Chat, uh, share your story or share uh, relevant information to astronomical uh, imaging or promote your YouTube channel, you can uh, reach out to us at astrochatterpodcast at gmail.com. I'll put that uh, email address in this video. Uh, and in particular, if you've not had the opportunity, we've done our first live stream and we're very fortunate to have done our first live stream with Lee Poulin. Uh, you can find his work at Urban Astrophotography. Um, it was an excellent presentation and it was really about how to get more uh, out of your images when you're imaging under Bortle 789 skies. And um, it was an excellent presentation and there'll be more on that in a minute. And uh, that kind of leads me to my uh, confession. It's true confession time. It wasn't until I saw uh, Lee's presentation as part of our live stream that I realized that I'm probably dogging it, that I'm really not committed enough uh, to get the most out of my backyard. And if you've been following this channel, you know that I'm somewhat tree limited and uh, I'm under Bortle 78 skies, but through um, having Lee on the Astro Chat, it really uh, showed me a methodology. Lee shared a methodology on how I can get more out of my backyard and some of the steps uh, that I want to incorporate in that effort. So, you know, my, my confession is in a sense, I've been dogging it when it comes to my backyard. You know, I've been saying, okay, I'll go down to a dark site either up at Blue Canyon Airport or down uh, to Landers, California. But those trips are kind of uh, iffy in a sense because I, I never know what the weather's going to be like. Uh, you know, but when I'm here at my house, you know, I can check what the weather is going to be tonight. And then if it's good, I really just need to set up and I really need to start imaging. And I need to follow the plan that and path that Lee shares in the live stream that we did with Lee on how to optimize imaging in an urban environment and get the most out of my images. So um, uh, that's basically my confession. I've been, uh, been, I don't know, lazy or dogging it a bit or finding other uh, reasons to get in the way of me being committed to imaging uh, on in my backyard, using the automation that is available to me either through Nina or the ASI Air uh, makes it very easy. I can do delayed starts so that uh, nothing kicks off until uh, the object is within uh, my uh, field of view. Uh, so there's a lot more really I can be doing and. You know, Lee's uh, methodology for using subframe selector to take the best of your images uh, was really informative to me. And I am already uh, a PixInsight user, so I am going to incorporate uh, Lee's technique in both uh, when I'm imaging in my backyard as well as on my uh, dark side trips. 
So um, there's more I could be doing there. So <clears throat> again, uh, for 2023, which is quickly approaching, uh, I'm gonna put more effort into my backyard and I'm gonna see what I can produce. And uh, I think there's more there based upon what uh, Lee shared with us in the live stream. And if you've not had an opportunity to look at that live stream, I strongly suggest you took, take a look at it. And again, it's not a beginner story per se. Lee's been imaging in the, the Bristol area of uh, UK uh, since about 2014. He's developed uh, some techniques uh, that really can enable you independent of where you may be located uh, in an urban environment, how to get the most out of that uh, environment. So uh, be sure to check out the live stream. And also you can see Lee's work at urbanastrophotography.com. Uh, uh, very informative information. I was really uncomfortable as I was watching Lee's presentation because I'm saying to myself, why didn't I figure this out? Uh, but again, um, and it made me uncomfortable that I'm not doing enough uh, trying to leverage my backyard. But uh, 2023 is the year to do that. I'm still going to do my dark side trips. Uh, the weather here, I don't want to whine about the weather because I know it's just a natural fact that we all have to deal with it. And being in Northern California, I'm uh, a bit more fortunate than people in other parts uh, of the world. Uh, but I am still going to do my dark site trips. I'm looking for a weather window that I can go down to uh, Goat Mountain Astronomical Research Station in Landers, California after the first of the year. Uh, again, that site is run by Riverside Astronomical Society, of which I am a member. And something new in 2023, uh, recently uh, purchased a Tesla Model 3 and I'm working to downsize uh, my uh, kit in a sense to where maybe I could use the Model 3 to go down to uh, Landers and I'd save about $160 per round trip over using my camper van. And since I am a member of Riverside Astronomical Society and I do uh, in a sense uh, pay for the use of a cement pad. I have access to two houses. They have kitchen, bedroom, uh, shower, bathroom. And so really do I need to travel down there in my camper van when I have access to those excellent facilities uh, offered at uh, Goat Mountain Astronomical Society uh, Research Station, uh, also known as GMARS, uh, which is managed by uh, the Riverside Astronomical Society. So that's something new for 2023. See if I, um, if I actually uh, take the time to use the Tesla to go down there and save some uh, money as well. All right, so that's my confession. I'm going to take the challenge up in a sense. Not that Lee challenged me specifically, but if you watch his content, um, you may just get some ideas on how to optimize imaging uh, and utilization of your time uh, given whatever your weather conditions might be that can often be challenging under urban skies. Um, just a fantastic uh, presentation and uh, I'm so grateful to Lee for taking the time to come on to the Astro Chat uh, and share his um, experience and thoughts with us. And uh, we expect after the New Year's uh, for uh, Lee to come back and he's going to share a little bit more about how he got started back in 2014 and how he progressed his skills and, and knowledge uh, along his journey as well. Okay, uh, that's about it. Again, keep an eye out for our Astro Chats. If you want to be on it, uh, raise your hand. We'll, uh, you send us some contact information via the email address. We'll reach out to you and see if we can uh, schedule something. Uh, other than that, being the end of 2022, I want to thank all my subscribers and uh, people who took time to view content on my channel and uh, uh, take a moment to leave a comment or share additional information. Uh, I really appreciate that. And in 2023, uh, we look forward to uh, uh, producing the Astro Chat series. In addition to content, I'll be doing specific to my continued learning journey in the uh, astrophotography, astronomical imaging uh, realm. So again, uh, wanna thank everyone and wherever you may be in the world, 
clear skies. Thanks for dropping in and uh, happy new year in, uh, as we approach 2023. Thanks, until next time.